friends, today I'm going to make one of my favorite dishes, chicken curry. So let's start with the main ingredients. We have some cumin seeds, our basic spices, that's salt, two tablespoons, red chili powder, some turmeric, that's haldi. You can use curry powder if you don't have haldi. We have some black pepper powder, coriander powder, and some fennel seeds. And to make the curry, we need green chilies. If you are fond of spice, we have some ginger, chopped garlic, potatoes. We'll use few drops of lemon. We'll use cilantro or coriander for garnishing. Chopped onions, tomatoes, and I'm going to use chicken drumsticks to make this chicken curry. So let's start. I have some hot oil in my wok and I'm going to add some cumin seeds and we'll fry our onions and to make onions cook faster we are going to add our salt We'll give it a minute or two and then we'll add garlic and ginger. Alright, so it's been a minute and I'm going to add chopped garlic and ginger. You can also use uh, pureed onions and ginger and garlic puree. So mix everything well and add our green chili. I like it really spicy so I'm adding chili but you can add them according to your taste or preference. So we will let our onions, ginger, garlic and chilies fry a bit. We let them cook. Give it 2-3 minutes. Let onions get golden brown before adding other ingredients. Alright, looks like my onions are done. So I'm going to add rest of my spices. That's curry powder or turmeric. There is a slight difference in taste, so I prefer tur uh, turmeric, so, but if you don't get it easily in your town, you can always use curry powder. My fennel seeds, red chili powder, coriander powder, and black pepper go in the wok, and I'll mix everything really well. And I'll add my potatoes so that potatoes can cook with these spices. So I'll give it about five minutes. So that all these spices are nicely blended with the potatoes and then add chicken and I mix everything really well Chicken curry is so easy to make and yet so delicious. And growing up in Punjab, northern part of India, chicken curry was my favorite. It's like our one of our common dishes.
So we are going to cover it and give it good 7-8 minutes. Or until the chicken is almost done. And we'll keep stirring it in between so that it doesn't stick at the bottom. Alright, so it has been good 7-8 minutes and juices from the chicken are running clear. But it's not done quite yet. So at this point, I'm going to add tomatoes. I've used two medium tomatoes. So I'm going to add these. You can also use tomato puree, but of course, fresh tomatoes taste best. And in order to make some gravy, I'm going to add some water, about half a cup. If you want to make this dish a little bit more rich, at this point you can add some cream or milk. So we are going to give this a good 15-20 minutes. It will depend what kind of chicken you are using. So if you are using boneless kind, it will be done quicker than chicken drumsticks that I'm using here. So I'm just going to mix my tomatoes in and uh, we'll give it 20 minutes and see how it goes. 20 minutes and looks like my chicken is done. Just the last bit. I'm going to add some garnish. So our coriander or cilantro leaves go on top. Look at that beautiful color. And my dish looks so appetizing. And just couple of drops of lemon. Oh, so good. I'm gonna try it. So you can eat it with roti, chapati, naan, rice or any other flatbread of your choice. So we'll check and see it's completely white, so it's done. Let's taste. Mmm. Oh, I'm totally making some rice right now, and I'm gonna eat some chicken curry. Enjoy.